I always read about the Lanap procedure, okay? I would review the literature and understand everything that was being said and documented. When it came out that the histologic evaluation showed that it was a true attachment, true regeneration, new bone, new PDL, new cementum, it was astounding to me. And actually, and it's the truth, I would lay back at night thinking about it, Google the literature to get more information. Okay. Then, and I've been in practice for 30 years, okay, and it, it, there's a phrase that it's hard to teach an old dog new tricks, but it's not hard when the new trick has truth behind it. And that truth is histologic proof. Okay. Then I saw many of the colleagues that I love, respect, and I honor on their videos. And I would, and I would say to myself, they're not doing this just to do it. They're doing it because there's truth behind it. And that truth sets you free. They became free, okay? Then I had this patient who came to me, this beautiful lady I've been taking care of, and she said, Dr. Hadid, do you do the Lanat procedure? And I had to tell her no. And she said, you mean as a periodontal specialist, specialist, you don't have that in your protocol. And that cut to the core, I am telling you. So then after that, I went to my wife and I said, Tracy, we have to do this. And actually she was the one that said, it's time to do this. And that's what made me do it. I have done the LaPip protocol. I've performed it on two patients. Now, remember, it's only been within a six-month period, but we have taken follow-up radiographs. It's actually astounding to me because I looked at the four-month radiograph as well. The beginning and to the four-month period was overwhelming. Why? Because actually, any other time, I would have removed the implant. And these two patients, I did not, and the response is, is intriguing to me. So we've done several cases so far. I've been in practice for 30 years and I have taken multitudes of training courses. I thought that the Millennium Dental Tech training course was astounding. Not just the uh, staff, the uh, instructors, it was the material that was given to us. It wasn't just material that dealt with the periolase. It was material that also gave us a complete literature review, going back into the past and uh, giving you all these articles that will walk you up the mountain of success to say, and at the pinnacle of this mountain is the periolase MVP. This is why our protocol is based on bacterial inflammation and occlusion. I thought it was awesome. My periodontal residency was awesome. But if I go back in time and I evaluate it, what was missing in that residency was occlusion. Was it in there? Sure it was. But it wasn't profound. And to see that there is and to believe that there was this co-destructive nature in periodontal disease, it invigorated me to know that occlusion is as powerful as treating the bacterial infection.